Make sure your machine is powered off and all cables are unplugged before starting this. After opening the control box you need to clip two zip ties. That's going to allow you to remove the cables after you disconnect them from the motherboard. Find the stepper connector labeled Z and remove it. Then the end stop labeled Z and remove it. You can now pull them through the rear of the control box. Feed the new cable through the rear of the control box and route it around the power supply cables. Plug in the stepper connector and then the end stop connector. Order is not important. Add a zip tie back where you removed the originals. This will add strain relief to the system and keep the cables from being able to pull out from the control box. Attach the yellow bracket to the stepper on the opposite side of the connection. Pay attention to the T-nuts and make sure they grab. When you put the Z-coupler on, make sure you line the set screw up with the flat spot on the shaft. The bearing cover is keyed and only goes in one way. Now remove the wheels from the outside of the extrusion. You're going to reuse the wheels, nuts, and spacers. The front side bracket is held on with screws and T-nuts. You're going to remove that as one assembly. You'll need to assemble the single wheel side of the bracket. Grab one of the longer screws and attach like this. You'll also want to attach the T-nuts before trying to install. Use your hex key, go through the holes, and tighten down the screws. Grab the other two long screws that came in the kit. Start with the original spacers, then the wheels, then the additional spacers that came in the kit. Pull the screws back just enough so you can swivel the bracket around and get those screws through it.
Take the lead screw and insert it through the top and feed it down to the brass nut in the new bracket. It should thread down into the coupler. Make sure it's fully seated and tighten the set screw. Now that you've added a second lead screw to the other side, you need to take a measurement and make sure both sides are level off of a fixed point. Feed the cable underneath the frame, plug in each stepper, then the end stop, and you should be good to go.